According to Lacanian psychoanalytics, a vast amount of personal motivation comes from the reactionary resentment with opposition to the other. A classic example is the case of a child being repeatedly scolded, told all his life how he will never amount to anything, leading to the formulation of a negative complex and a deep reactionary resentment, culminating into a lifelong motivation to prove this other wrong. While negative forces are most powerful, the gaze of the other isn't limited to this. Indeed, positive emotions can also work this way. An example being a so-called enlightened individual who feels deep gratitude towards the other and is motivated to act based on it. Thus one cannot escape the influence of the other, as it is an all-pervasive force making individuals dance like puppet prisoners in God's great panopticon. An isolative hermit artist in the woods, a true outsider in other words, will inevitably feel the spectre of this harassing need, a need to seek out a vague other with whom to share his or her works. This pernicious need is a persistent problem indeed, something that can be hard to ignore, even harder to solve. So far, not many solutions have been offered, for this ailment is an issue only for a tiny minority of artists, even less so for the population as a whole. Most would not consider this something to be solved at all, but instead, in quotation marks, a healthy response to harmful self-isolation. They would most likely say that it is a sign to re-enter the social arena in order to get feedback and opinions on the person's works and experiences. The true outsider, however, knows that such voices are the voices of the collective, the voice of the other, who no doubt would like to see the individual judged whether he or she is worthy of validation in the eyes of the other, based entirely on the arbitrary standards of this, who else, almighty other leading us back to the apt metaphor of shadow puppets dancing in the prison cell of Grand Panopticon, wherein, even if one of the puppets was to turn its back on God, his gaze would still remain as a burning reminder about the futility of rebellion. <laughs>